Well, the trucks have rolled in from WA to help drought-stricken farmers on the East Coast. The supply of locally grown hay will help one of Australia's worst drought-stricken communities. And farmers say it's a reminder they are not alone. The end of a three and a half thousand kilometre journey for WA truck drivers. <laughs> but just the beginning for rural families battling the worst drought in a generation. <laughs> Answering the call from New South Wales farmers, a convoy of 20 trucks carrying bales of hay travelled for five days from Perth to Condoblin. Sometimes when, when, you're, um, when you're battling away in the bush and you feel like you're pretty much on your own and something like this happens, you know, and you go, oh, I'm not so alone as I thought I was. The rescue mission with enough hay to feed 20,000 sheep for 20 weeks, put together in just one week by charity, the Australian Rapid Relief Team. So I've journeyed across South Australia, back up into New South Wales and yeah, here we are. The volunteers behind the wheel labelled as heroes. A moment so emotional, some were reduced to tears. Big privilege to be part of it. 200 farmers set to receive 10 bales of hay each, enough to keep feeding their stock for another week. We do appreciate it, and like I said, it's, it's just the fact that people are thinking of us and someone's doing something that gives you a bit of a lift and, yeah, makes you want to keep going, I guess. While WA has seen record rainfall in recent weeks, New South Wales has had less than 10 millimetres in the western, northwest and central areas. Now considered a drought crisis, this map shows just how widespread the devastation is. And the Bureau of Meteorology predicts it's only going to get worse, with warmer and drier weather on the way. You've got to thank them. And they are beautiful to come. It's been amazing. Yeah. The truck drivers will take a well-earned break before making the long trip back home. Grace Fitzgibbon, Nine News.